Okay, let's talk about digital radiographic quality control. The advent of digital imaging has changed the scope of QC activities to include the reading room and other digital display devices. And you can see in the picture what is a typical reading station. You've got the PC down here, and you've got four Barco monitors, and you've got the one color monitor. I'm pretty sure that in the future, this is what a radiologist workstation will look like. The more monitors, the better. The person who has the most monitors wins. In Hawaii, we had radiologist stations that had nine monitors on them. They were literally a big U-shaped desk, and the radiologist would have to roll around because you're you can't see nine monitors looking in any one direction. You have to turn your head or swivel your chair to see that many monitors. So, whoever has the most monitors wins, and we support all the monitors. The five standards you need to know and how they are applied in the real world are SIMPTI, NEMADICOM, DIN, VESA, AAPM, TG18. These are the performance assessment standards. So let's dive right in. SIMPTI. SIMPTI stands for Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. It is the ACR recommended pattern that should be used to evaluate digital display performance. It is a standard component of any monitor QC program. It's performed annually. That's once a year or any time the monitor has been picked up and moved around. If you move it to a different room, you got to run the SIMPTI pattern. And it looks like this. So what you want to see in the SIMPTI pattern is this gray box inside the black square, that's the 5% box, and this gray box inside the white square, that's the 95% box. I can see them on my monitor. I'm not sure how this is going to be picked up by the video I'm using to capture my screen, so hopefully you can see that. If not, next time you're in the lab, I'll show it to you. But that's the SIMPTI pattern. You want to see those two boxes. If you see it, it passes the test. NEMA DICOM. NEMA, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association. NEMA and the ASR, ACR work together to establish a standard called Digital Imaging and Communication, or DICOM. I'm sure you're all very aware of DICOM now. One part of the DICOM standard is the Grayscale Display Function Standard, and the purpose of GSDF is to define and standardize mathematically how grayscale monitors should display images. In simple terms, it determines how changes in exposure values in an image correspond to pixel brightness changes in a displayed image. GSDF is mandated for all digital display devices, right? So keep in mind, the people that take the x-rays their x-ray energy gets converted to a matrix and then we convert that matrix of val of exposure values into pixel brightnesses and that's how the image gets displayed and GSDF gives us a standard mathematical formula to convert their exposure values into our pixel brightnesses DIN 2001 DIN stands for Deutsche Institut für Normung it's a very German in 2001, they authored a document called Image Quality Assurance in X-ray Diagnostics. Image Quality Assurance in X-ray Diagnostics. Acceptance Testing for Image Display Devices. This document is commonly called DIN 2001, and it is the universally accepted standard for acceptance testing of digital display devices. And the reason for this is that it calls for testing the modality and the monitor at the same time. What they said was, Instead of plugging in a new monitor and running it and testing it without calibrating the equipment first, that doesn't make any sense to us. What you should do is test the equipment for its exposure values, make sure it's in range, and then test the monitor. You don't want to calibrate your monitor if the machine is way off, because once the machine gets fixed, then your monitor is screwed up. They said, test your modality and your monitor at the same time. It's a very smart idea. VESA. VESA is the Video Electronic Standard Association. In 1998, they developed the Flat Panel Display Measurement Standard. It is a standard to measure display performance. It uses 19 different metrics to compare flat panel display performance, including, these are the ones that matter to us, center screen luminance, contrast ratio, response time, warm-up time. The VESA standard is what we use to test the monitors at the modalities. 
the monitor they use for the technologist to review CTs, the monitor they use for the technologist to review MRIs. We generally calib calibrate their monitors to VESA standards. VESA also standardized the stand and mounting configurations for flat panel displays. If you flip a monitor over and you see the four screw holes in the back, they're about, what, four or six inches apart in a square, that is a standardized VESA mount. So you'll hear people talk about the VESA mount. That's the standardized VESA mount. AAPM Task Group 18. AAPM stands for American Association of Physicists in Medicine. TG18 stands for Task Group Report 18. They have a task group that works every year. And Task Group 18, this is what they came up with. These guys came up with a set of test patterns and related procedures specific to radiology. Particular emphasis is placed on details of associated patterns that technologists can use to perform checks to ensure proper system performance. And don't get fooled to think that TG18 corresponds to a year. Uh, TG18, I think, was actually held in 2010, 2011. So, you know, the first year they did it was Task Group 1. The next year was Task Group 2. Just don't get the idea that 18 corresponds to 2018. These measures have been around for a while. So, the primary tool for testing the response and performance of a digital display is a luminance meter. Sometimes these are called photometers. And they come in three varieties, near-range, telescopic, and on-board. A near-range photometer is used in close proximity to the monitor. The most common type is called a puck because it's the size and shape of a hockey puck. It has suction cups so you can stick it right on the monitor. Don't trust the suction cups. They will peel off about halfway through your test and then you got to run it again. A telescopic photometer is used from one meter away from the monitor and this type of photometer is more affected by ambient light, but it's also better at accounting for ambient light. Most Barco monitors have an onboard photometer that tests performance <coughs> automatically depending on the settings in the display monitor quality control software. This is getting a little long, so I'm going to make this a part one and part two, and I'm going to stop here.